Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and welcome to episode 6 of my kitbash build of the Bandai ATST and Revels VW Samba. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. To start this episode, we'll be spraying all the lower parts of the cab, ready for its main colour, which is going to be a candy colour. To do candy colours, you first prime. Next, a gloss black, then a shiny chrome, and then finally the candy colour. The gloss black gives depth to the chrome, which in turn gives depth to the candy colour. Obviously, this gives the colour, and even more depth, dependent on how many layers of candy colour you do. The colours we're going to be using are Alclad 2's Gloss Black ALC-305-60, Alclad 2's Chrome, which is ALC-107, and finally Alclad 2's Candy Electric Blue, which is ALC-709. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on! Now we have the gloss black done. We did it in three sections, a light coat, a fill coat, then a wet coat. This will hopefully give us a nice shiny flat surface. We'll see. While that's drying, let's get the legs dirty. I'm using a mixture of Game Wash's 73.200 sepia and 73.201 black, mixed with a healthy dose of distilled water. God, that was easy for me to say. I prefer distilled water or deionized water as it doesn't have the impurities that tap water has. Just my personal preference. So let's crack on. And there we have the legs washed. Looking all right, not bad. Next up, let's get the Wookiee glued together and then off the sprue. Yes, in that order. So here we go with that. Wookiee done and ready for priming. Next. A huge big apology. I'm sorry. My camera ran out of space so I didn't get the chrome and the candy colour spraying. I'm gutted. Anyway, here's how the blue turned out. Well, it's more a purple, but as it's my wife's favourite colour, I'm going to leave it this colour. It's very pretty and I do actually like it. Anyway, let's get these unmasked and see how much of the paint was removed, as in the white, and have a good old butchers. There we have the cab and doors unmasked. And yes, there was a lot of paint that was pulled away. So if any of you do do this, then keep all the rebel parts as you never know. Yes, I probably should have washed those too, but hey ho, you live and learn. 
Next up, we can clean up all the places where the paint was pulled away. I'm using high grit sandpaper 400 then 1200 just to remove the edges. Then we'll repaint using Mr. Colors 1500 surface of primer white, a hairy stick and then resand. So here we go with all that. There we have that done. While it's drying, let's get the inside of the doors done, shall we? I'm using various Tamiya paints for this, so let's crack on.
there we go that's the inside of the doors done looking pretty good next up we're going to be painting the grey onto the back of the ATVW so here we go with that There we have the back as well as the internals sprayed grey. Not painted, yes I know. Anyway, now that has dried, I can pick out details on the back using rubber black from Tamiya, that's XF85. So let's crack on with that. There we have those details all done. I'm happy. Next up, we're going to be cleaning up the rush marks on the white. Again, I'm using 400 and 1200 grit homemade sanding sponges. So let's get this cracked. spots where there was some overspray from the grey. So let's get that sorted shall we? Ah. 
there we have those touch-ups done. A bit longer than normal, but thanks for sticking with me. Anywho, this seems like as good a place as any to end. So, thank you for watching episode 6 of my kit bash build. If you want to see what happens in episode 7, then please subscribe to my channel. Help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.